up, nerds? It's Jordan, aka Joe Radical, aka Big Papa Joe, back again for another video. You may have seen Emperor Ace's video on this channel on the topic of the best superhero, and in that video, and in person, he presents the idea that Superman is the greatest superhero of all time. Now, that's a bold claim to say the least, but one that I can understand, although I don't agree. I don't think Superman is the best superhero at all. He may be the most powerful, I can't really argue that, but what I can't argue is his status as the best. Masquerading as a human while actually existing as a godlike being is not enough to make him a great superhero. What truly makes a superhero great is the ability to act selflessly despite all odds. They struggle to overcome their weaknesses and use their abilities for the good of others. Superman just can't do that effectively. He's almost invulnerable, a god with no real weaknesses, and therefore there's little to no challenges that he could face. Because of that, there is no way I can look at him and pretend that he is the best. I can, however, present an alternative. I believe that Spider-Man is one of, if not the greatest superhero we have. Now, I'm not going to present an alternative storyline, uh -huh, as an argument for my case, but rather an overview of the character in general. Spider-Man is a household name. Everyone knows him. He's iconic. But... In case you've been living under a rock for the past century, here's a brief rundown of the character. Bitten by a radioactive spider, high school student Peter Parker gained the speed, strength, and powers of a spider, adopting the name Spider-Man. Peter hoped to start a career using his new abilities. Taught that with great power comes great responsibility, Spidey has vowed to use his powers to help people. Now what that little snippet doesn't explain is his incredible character, one of the best written in comics in my opinion. Now, just about every superhero has a tragic backstory. It sets the stage for their entire career. For example, Superman. He was born with godlike abilities and sent to Earth from Krypton as an infant, after his entire planet exploded. But, he was raised by a healthy human family who teach him how to use his powers for good. All in all, he had a relatively great life. Even though his planet was gone, it happened during his infancy. He never knew his real parents or anyone else in the planet. Not only that, but we find on several occasions that he wasn't even the last Kryptonian in the first place. Then we have Batman, who lost his parents as a child. Obviously it affects him in some way, but he's still left with a multi-billion dollar fortune. Peter Parker was different. He was a teenager, and an outcast at that. When he finally got the strength, speed, and popularity that he desired, he immediately screwed up and lost one of the few people he cared about. Unlike Kal-El or Bruce Wayne, Peter Parker had a direct hand in his loss. And as a result of that, he uses his powers to make sure that nothing like that happens to anyone else. No matter what the cost, he will always make the decision to save others, something he didn't do before. Look at Aunt May. He's the reason that she's all alone and he still might lose her. His tragedy could happen all over again. And that's what drives him to continue with Spider-Man. He has to, because he knows what incredible loss feels like. And he knows that he can prevent it from happening to others. That pressure is immense, but he's willing to tackle it. Peter Parker effectively creates a better person, the person that he'd always wished he was, the person that could have saved his Uncle Ben. He wasn't born an amazing person with amazing opportunities. He had to become one. He never had the luxury of being invincible either. While he's very powerful, he's still incredibly vulnerable. He's not going to win every battle and there will always be a challenge for him to overcome. He's nowhere near as powerful as Superman. He's not even the most powerful in his own universe or in comics in general. He's a vulnerable, relatable character who will continue to overcome because he refuses to let his tragedies happen to anyone else. His story says that no matter what, you're going to make mistakes, and it's going to crush you. But as long as you never, ever give up, you can defeat any odds. You can become the person you truly want to be. And that is why Spider-Man is the greatest superhero of all time. Now... I know that was a little bit uh, less lighthearted than the other videos I've done, but I figured it was a necessary video as me and Emperor Ace had been arguing about it for a long time. Uh, but to lighten the mood, I've written a little uh, little jingle. I hope you, um, uh, Superman ain't shit. He can suck Spider-Man spider dick.